In this video, we're going to be going over my Amazon KDP income report for July 2021. It was a really positive month for me. So if you want to see how much I earned, then watch this video. So I like to split my video up into three parts just to save you time so you can skip ahead to the part that you're most interested in. So I'm going to be first talking about my July 2021 income, then the books that really did well for me and finally just a little bit on my ad spend. So you can see the timestamps in the description below. So my total income for the month of July 2021 is $1,003.09 and I'm happy that this is my third fourth figure month. It does show that all the hard work is really paying off from the previous months. However, I would have to say that this month has been quite a busy month for me and I've only been able to upload four books. So that is the benefit of your previous work kind of paying you dividends and having that snowball effect. However, this income is the gross income. So I have been running ads and I will go over that a little bit later so you can see the net amount. Now overall for the month, you can see that I got sales every single day which is a great achievement uh, the lowest day was the 5th of july uh, on that day i made roughly 19 dollars and 62 cents and the highest day was the 17th and i made 48 dollars and 85 cents and that kind of just is my target at the moment, just trying to achieve consistent sales on a daily basis and just slowly build up towards Q4 whilst trying to get some of my books ranked as high and as early as possible. So if I click to quickly check the books sold for the month, you can see that I sold 531 books with the 29th of July being the day I sold the most books and that was roughly 36. So the good thing about KDP Champ is that it does the ad spend for you. So to see my total net for the month of July, I just select this option and you can see my total net is 700 and $76.49. Going over my best books, I'm first going to take a look at my marketplace stats just to see which marketplaces did the best for me and where I achieved sales. So I'm just going to click on that in the corner and then make sure I select the correct dates. So July the 1st until 31st and just give it a moment to load so you can see that amazon.co.uk was the majority with roughly 60% uh, and then followed by amazon.com and then Canada Germany Spain and Australia as well so again, it's really good to be getting sales across various marketplaces. Hopefully, uh, as I've said before, Australia, I'm hoping to get more sales there as that is a new marketplace. But it is just good that your books are doing well in other places, which shows that you are doing well. Now, just going to take a look at the books that did well for me. So I'm going to click on book stats let that load and then again select the dates to the 31st search the database and having a look you can see that my book at the top this is actually uh, my best-selling logbook 
which has been doing really well for me i am running ads on this book but again this is quite a simple log book and as i said it's just been getting a lot of sales for me the next is a 18 month planner which is doing also quite well for me following that is also another 18 month planner which is also quite popular and then we've got an activity book again followed by another 18 month planner as well and what's quite interesting is that for me apart from this book that is getting me the most sales i do feel that it is quite even i'm trying to kind of go for that consistent approach with my books as you don't want all your sales going towards one book and then something might happen or that or you might not be getting sales from that book and then you see a massive drop in your books so that's why i said it's good to try and diversify log books planners activity books coloring books notebooks and you keep on creating quality books and the sales will come so this is roughly my 13th month so far and some of these books are made quite a while ago so it's, they didn't get sales initially but now they are really doing well for me so you might not see those sales initially at the start but if they are quality books then eventually you should get sales from them so for this final part i'm just going to take a look at some of my ads that have been running and just go over a brief explanation of my strategy later on i'll do a video about this going into more detail but i just want to quickly discuss so we're going to quickly first take a look at my ad campaigns in the us so you can see my spend of 96 dollars and 42 spent cents and then the sales amount of $474.47 with an ACOS of roughly 20% and it shows that my ads have been profitable however with the sales I must mention that this is not the full amount that you receive that you receive royalties from this so make sure you don't get confused with that but from my uh, ad spend in the US 52 orders which is roughly 10% of the amount of books that I sold this month and if we quickly have a look at the UK as well I, I've only run ads in the US and the UK you can see that my spend has been 94 pounds and 19 pence with 399 pounds and 26 pence of sales with an a cost of 23.59 percent again which is really really good and orders of roughly 79 in total so if i was to add the 79 orders from the uk and the 52 orders from the US it would come to 131 orders which is roughly over 20% of the total book sales that I've had for the month of July so there is definitely a benefit to running ads as it does give your books that extra push now for the time being, I've only been running what are called automatic ads and these are kind of the easiest form of ads. So what works for me is that I wait up until I've got two sales from a book because I think that if you can make one sale from a book, that can kind of just happen. You can get, you know, the random sale. But if you get another sale as well, then kind of this gives me that trigger to really run ads on this book and just kind of get a feeling or not if this book can make extra sales. So I usually try and keep the cost per click 
as low as I can so I usually go roughly around maybe 20 cents and if I see that I've spent off roughly up to a dollar or maybe I might go up to one dollar fifty and I haven't made a sale then I kill the ad completely but then I also don't see the ad as a failure because you can collect a lot of the keyword data and base future books around this but as I said I will go over ads in more detail in a future video so that's a summary of my July 2021 income report. So thanks for watching and make sure you like, comment and subscribe.